נני, מה קרה? היי, נני. היה כיף? מה, עשית כיף היום? שמרי עמית tried for years to get pregnant without success. Who's baby? A year ago, her daughter was born, with the help of a surrogate. Five years ago, when you were trying to get pregnant, did you think that you would be here right now? I was trying so much, and uh, we tried so many times with the surrogate also. It's amazing. I mean, it's like really amazing. She's my really love of my life. And she's like, she's adorable. And probably this is the one that I was waiting for. Do you feel grateful that surrogacy is an option? I'm like, so thankful for sur surrogate and the, all the process and surrogacy that it's like option, it's like amazing. It's an amazing opportunity, you know. Shimri used a surrogate from the small Eastern European nation of Georgia. Yeah. So that's the surrogate and your daughter? Yeah. yeah. What's her, her name? Maya. Why did you choose Georgia? I mean, it's more uh, affordable first. It's more... Um, the bureaucracy and everything, it's much more easy because you have the agency that they do everything for you and you have the lawyer, you know, so it's very easy. You don't do nothing, actually. How many people do you know personally who used Georgian surrogates? Like at least 15, yeah. As more older people and same-sex couples become parents, the surrogacy industry is growing worldwide. But in the U.S. as well as Israel, surrogates aren't always easy to find. Heterosexual parents hoping for a cheaper option have until recently turned to Ukraine, but then Russia invaded. Babies born to surrogates were stranded, and parents begin to look elsewhere, to Georgia. Take it out. Everything is finished. Katuna is a first-time surrogate. An embryo belonging to a couple from Turkey has just been transferred into her uterus. Katuna heard about surrogacy through her sister, who's done it twice. So why did you decide to do surrogacy? I am a are there other good options to make money? Why do you want to be anonymous? Why do you not want to show your face? Georgia is a deeply conservative country. 80% of the population belongs to the Orthodox Christian Church, which has come out against surrogacy. Are you saying that the Antichrist will be born from the surrogate mother? Yes. Wow, I mean, I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> Do you think people are thinking about this in the same way as you? Opposition isn't slowing the growth of the industry. Over a fifth of Georgians live below the poverty line, and the country has typically relied on remittances to prop up its economy. 
surrogacy pays between $10,000 and $20,000. That's a lucrative option. For Miriam Carkelly, who's on her second surrogacy, it's the best job she's ever had. Are you proud of being a surrogate? Yes, I'm proud of being a surrogate. 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 What do you think of the compensation? As demand for surrogates in Georgia has increased, their pay has gone up. But there are still few protections for women during the process. This woman, who we'll call Nino, has a teenage son. She's trying to get the money to pay for medical treatment he badly needs. What did you think of surrogacy before? If Nino were the biological parent, today would be the day she finds out the baby's gender. How are you feeling? What are you going to do now? For the hormone treatments, 12 weeks of pregnancy, and an abortion, Nino will only get $500. The fact that Georgian laws favor parents rather than surrogates is what makes coming here so appealing. But it's also led to some advocates calling for banning the industry entirely. The legislation totally protects uh, intending parents and agents and says nothing about uh, rights of um, surrogate mothers. And those uh, women who uh, uh, are kind of forced to get involved in surrogacy as they consider it to be the last resource of their income. And obviously this creates um, some uh, in, in imbalance of uh, powers. Do you think that surrogacy could be a way to improve equality for women financially? No, no. It's kind of getting rid of a problem without working on this problem. It's not a way out of uh, inequality. This can never be a justification for surrogacy. But the industry shows no sign of slowing. The global market for surrogacy is estimated to reach nearly 130 billion in the next decade. And surrogates like Karkeli don't want to see the industry banned. They want their work to be more valued. Do you know anything about the couple, the intended parents? Do you prefer it that way? Will you want to hold him? Yes, I'm going to hold him.